Welcome to the Public Housing Portal training video on submitting a rate reduction incentive request. This video is intended for PHA users only. In accordance with HUD Regulation 24 CFR 990.185B, if a PHA takes action beyond normal public participation in rate-making proceedings, such as wellhead purchase of natural gas, administrative appeals, or legal action to reduce the rate it pays for utilities, then the PHA will be permitted to retain one-half the annual savings realized from these actions. Rate Reduction Incentives, or RRIs, executed at the same time as an Energy Performance Contract, EPC, are eligible to retain up to 100% of the savings, rather than 50% of the savings with the RRI alone, during the EPC repayment period, when the EPC and RRI impact the same AMP and utility. Understanding User Roles the Public Housing Portal designates four types of user roles, OPD, OPE, OPI, and OPL. The OPD user role is intended for the PHA's Executive Director only. This user can create, edit, upload supporting documents, and manually or electronically sign or submit certifications, plans, forms, and other types of submissions. The OPE user can create, edit, and upload supporting documents for the submission. This user cannot sign or submit certifications, plans, forms, and other types of submissions. The OPI user can only read completed submissions. This user cannot create, edit, upload supporting documents, sign or submit certifications, plans, forms, and other types of submissions. The OPL user role is for the PHA's board chair only. This user can create, edit, manually or electronically sign required board certifications, and upload supporting documents. This user cannot sign or submit plans, forms, or other types of submissions. Follow up with your PHA's WASC coordinator to ensure that they only assign one role per user. In cases where a user has more than one role assigned, the system will automatically default to the access rights of the lower of the role selected. Navigating to the Rate Reduction Incentive Module. Go to PHA Reports and Submissions in the left navigation menu. Open the PHA Submissions drop-down menu. Select Rate Reduction Incentive, RRI. Select the appropriate calendar year and PHA code. Select the appropriate development number. Click the Create button. After clicking the Create button, you must continue with the creation process to save the submission in created status. Otherwise, your changes will not be saved. Creating the Rate Reduction Incentive Request All fields marked with an asterisk are required to create the PHA RRI request. Select the Utility Type from the drop-down menu. Select the RRI Action that the PHA took to reduce the utility rate at the development. Select Yes for multi-year approval if the PHA is seeking a multi-year approval or select No for a single-year approval. Please note if the PHA is requesting a multi-year approval, the user is required to enter the utility contract start date and utility contract end date. Enter the utility contract start date. Enter the utility contract end date. Select Yes or No to indicate whether the PHA has an Energy Performance Contract, EPC, in the Is the RRI Completed in conjunction with an EPC drop-down field. If the PHA has an EPC, enter the EPC start date. If the PHA has an EPC, enter the EPC end date. Select Yes or No for Is the RRI Application for Renewable Energy? to indicate whether the PHA has installed a renewable energy system at the development. Please note if the PHA selects Yes for the Renewable Energy field, the portal will generate a Renewable Energy Type field, requiring the PHA to select the Renewable Energy Type from the drop-down menu. Indicate the RRI eligibility percentage, 50 or 100%, that the PHA plans to claim. Select the Unit of Measure for the Utility Type. Ensure all units of measure are the same for each utility type. For example, if the unit of measure for water is gallons, total default utility cost, actual utility cost, default utility rate, actual utility rate, 
and actual utility consumption must be based on the cost rate per gallon. Select the cost or rate radio button for computational method to indicate which method that the PHA used to calculate the utility rate savings for the development. Click the Create button to finish the process of creating the RRI submission record. Please note if there are any errors, such as omission of required fields, that occurred while creating the form, the public housing portal will identify and display the errors, requiring the user to correct each issue before creating the form. Completing the Rate Reduction Incentive Request Details Let's discuss the menu buttons at the top of the screen and their related functions. Click the Return to PHA Selection button to return to the RRI Selection screen. Click the Delete button to delete the created PHA RRI request. Click the Status Log button to review the status changes of the RRI request from Created to Returned, Accepted, or Withdrawn. Click the View Email Log button to review HUD Financial Management Division FMD correspondence that are specific for the PHA's RRI request. Click the Apply Changes button to save any changes to the PHA RRI request. Click the Validate button prior to submission to identify any missing or incomplete required elements for submission. Click the Submit button to submit the PHA RRI request to the HUD Financial Management Division FMD. Select Yes or No in the PHA has a PPA field to indicate whether the PHA participates in a Power Purchase Agreement PPA, with a third party that operates an energy generating system, the seller, and the PHA purchases the output, such as electricity, steam, and so forth. If the PHA selects Yes for the PHA has a PPA field, the portal will generate a PPA term in years field, requiring the PHA to enter the number of years term or duration of the PPA. Select whether the PHA has an executed agreement or has taken special action that reduces their utility rates in the Has Approved Contract drop-down field. Provide the total number of years for the utility contract, utility contract end date, minus utility contract start date in the utility contract term in years field. Please note that this is a text field, allowing you to enter numbers, whole and partial, as well as letters. Select yes or no to indicate whether the PHA has an evergreen contract. If the cost computational method is used, enter the total default utility costs used to calculate savings from the rate reduction action. This is the total cost that PHA would have paid for the utility if it had not taken any rate reduction action during the reporting period. If the cost computational method is used, enter the total actual utility costs used to calculate savings from the rate reduction action. This is the total cost that the PHA actually paid due to the rate reduction action during the reporting period. If the rate computational method is used, enter the default utility rate that the PHA would have paid in the reporting period if it had not taken any rate reduction action. If the rate computation method is used, enter the actual utility rate paid by the PHA for the reporting period following the rate reduction action. Enter the total amount of utility consumed at a development during the reporting period in the actual utility consumption field, such as kilowatt hour of electricity. Click the Apply Changes button to save the changes. The portal saves the changes and calculates the rate difference, total savings, and rate reduction eligibility savings. Rate difference is an auto-calculated field. For PHAs that elect to use the rate computational method, the portal displays the difference between the default utility rates and the actual utility rate. Total savings is also an auto-calculated field. The portal displays the PHA's total savings based on the selected computational method, cost or rate, using the following formulas. Cost method. Total savings equals total default utility cost minus actual utility cost. Rate method. Total savings equal rate difference multiplied by the actual utility consumption. Rate reduction eligibility savings is also an auto-calculated field. The portal displays the PHA's total eligible savings for the utility type based on the selected rate reduction eligibility percentage, 50 or 100%. Adding additional utilities to rate reduction incentives. Click the Add Utility button to add additional utilities for the PHA rate reduction request for the development. Select the appropriate utility type. Select the appropriate unit of measure. 
select the appropriate rate reduction action. Click the Add Utility button. Complete all appropriate rate reduction incentive details for the added utility as necessary. Click the Apply Changes button to save the changes before continuing. The portal will save the changes and calculate the total savings and rate reduction eligibility savings using the default and actual cost or rate data. Click the Validate PHA button to check for any errors. You must correct all errors before submitting your rate reduction incentive request. Switching between different rate reduction identification numbers. To switch between different rate reduction IDs within the same AMP, follow the steps below. Click on the required utility button at the top of the screen. This graphic displays electricity and gas as the utility options. If the utility has more than one rate reduction action associated with it, the system displays the rate reduction incentive pop-up window for the user to select the required rate reduction ID, which is a combination of utility type and rate reduction action. In this graphic, electricity has two rate reduction incentive actions. Click on the required rate reduction incentive ID. The system displays the utility details page. Repeat these steps to move to another rate reduction incentive ID. Uploading attachments. Select the utility type for which the PHA wants to submit documentation, if there are multiple utilities. In the attached file section, click the button that corresponds to the document to be uploaded. For example, click the Savings Calculation Methodology button to upload a document for Savings Calculation Methodology. Please note that PHAs must attach documents demonstrating rate reduction incentive savings calculations using the Savings Calculation Methodology button in order to proceed with the submission. Select the appropriate document type. Enter any comments related to the document if necessary. Either drag and drop the file to this window or click the Choose File button to search and select a file. Click the Upload File button. The file appears in a list at the bottom of the pop-up window. Click the Download link to download and view the file. Click the trash can icon to delete the file. Click the Close and Return button when finished. Validating and submitting the Rate Reduction Incentive Request. Click the Validate button to ensure all appropriate fields are completed. If there are no errors and the validation is successful, the portal will display the following message. This Rate Reduction Incentive Request is ready for submission. If any errors are identified during validation, the portal will display an error message. You must correct all errors before submitting the Rate Reduction Incentive Request. When ready, click the Submit button. The portal will display a confirmation message stating that all Rate Reduction Incentive Requests have been submitted successfully. Understanding Email Notifications Received Rate Reduction Incentive Request Submission The portal notifies the PHA's Executive Director by email when FMD has received their Rate Reduction Incentive Submission. Accepted Email Notifications The portal notifies the PHA's Executive Director by email when FMD accepts their Rate Reduction Incentive Submission. Returned Email Notifications FMD may return the PHA's Rate Reduction Incentive Submission if the submission contains errors or is missing information or required attachments. The portal will notify the PHA's Executive Director by email when FMD returns the submission. Resubmitting a Rate Reduction Incentive Request In general, any return submissions will not be considered for a given funding year. Please contact PHFMD Energy Branch at hud.gov for further information. To resubmit the Rate Reduction Incentive Submission in response to an FMD return submission, follow these steps. Go to PHA Reports and Submissions in the left navigation menu. Open the PHA Submissions drop-down menu. Select Rate Reduction Incentive, RRI. Select the appropriate calendar year and PHA code. Select the appropriate development number. Click the pencil icon to review any return comments. Review the reasons for the returned rate reduction incentive submission in the Return Withdrawal Comments section. Click the Return to PHA Selection button to create a new submission. Follow the instructions previously discussed in this video to complete a new version of the submission. Viewing the status log. The status log displays the changes in status throughout the life cycle of the rate reduction incentive request from created to accepted or returned. 
To view the status log for the PHA, click the Status Log button. Viewing the Email Log The email log provides a historical list of all email correspondence from HUD staff sent to the PHA via the Public Housing Portal. To view the email log, click the View Email Log button. Click the ID link to view the details of the email. Click the Close and Return button to return to the Rate Reduction Incentive Request. Understanding your Rate Reduction Incentive Statuses The portal tracks six different Rate Reduction Incentive Request statuses. Let's take a moment to review what these statuses mean for your PHA. Created The PHA created a request and may have started reviewing and updating it. The PHA must review, update, and submit all Rate Reduction Incentive requests in Created Status. PHAs can edit the request in Created Status and can add or delete file attachments. Submitted the PHA submitted the request to HUD. PHAs cannot edit the request in submitted status, cannot delete existing file attachments, but can upload new documentation if necessary. In review, HUD FMD staff have started reviewing the rate reduction incentive request. PHAs cannot edit the request in in review status, cannot delete existing file attachments, but can upload new file attachments if necessary. Accepted. FMD has accepted the request. PHAs cannot edit the request in accepted status. PHAs cannot delete existing file attachments or upload new documentation. Returned. FMD has returned the request. PHAs cannot edit the request in return status. PHAs cannot delete existing file attachments or upload new documentation. If all rate reduction incentive requests under a selected development are returned, PHAs can resubmit a revised Rate Reduction Incentive Request. Withdrawn HUD has withdrawn the Rate Reduction Incentive Request. PHAs cannot edit the form in Withdrawn Status. PHAs cannot delete existing file attachments or upload new documentation. Thank you for watching this Public Housing Portal training video on submitting a Rate Reduction Incentive Request. If you have questions about operating fund grants, calculating or understanding operating fund eligibility, the use and eligibility of the Rate Reduction Incentive, or PIH regulations or notices, please contact your local field office. For technical questions or comments regarding the Public Housing Portal, contact REACT Tech by phone at 1-888-245-4860 and choose option number 4, or by email at react underscore tech at hud.gov.